Hello there, welcome back to The Closet Historian. Today I have a little bit of a show and tell for all of you. I've been doing a lot of sewing down here in the sewing room, but I haven't been filming the process. I know, naughty girl. I haven't been moving my camera around the room as I sew can slow me down, so I haven't been recording the process of these projects. And they're all, all these projects I'm gonna show you today are things that I've shown how to do here on the channel before. So it's like a gathered neckline, which I showed in my white eyelet top video, or it's a, just a kimono sleeve, which I've shown in a video here before. It's um, doing a yoke with gathering into the yoke, which I've shown here on the channel before. So it's a lot of things that are elements from my other sewing videos that I was remixing and rematching to make these projects that I'm gonna show you here today. So there was nothing new in any of these projects, so I didn't feel justified in making a video to cover any of them um, because I don't wanna repeat myself too much in my pattern drafting and sewing videos here on the channel, but I still wanted to show you the things I've been making recently. So I thought I would do this little wrap up show and tell video for you all today. Beginning with the trousers I made, the 1940s style trousers I made last week here on the channel. This was the first pair of the sort of wearable muslin, as I was calling them, in this lightweight cotton twill from Mood Fabrics. Um, it's kind of a brushed cotton twill. It's very soft and comfortable and very casual here, styled with a plaid shirt that I thrifted on my last thrifting journey before, before lockdown here. No more thrifting for a while, but this is a really nice casual outfit. Um, just these nice, comfortable hands and a tied shirt. And here are the second pair of trousers I made last week in the lightweight suiting wool here, but I thought they could be styled in a more casual way with a tied rayon little, you know, tropical blouse. You know how I like me a safari-ish uh, or a Hawaiian aloha shirt, a dad shirt as I call them here on the channel. So here's the dad shirt with the 40s pants, a straw hat, sunglasses, and my white leather sandals. The first project on my recent sewing spree was actually this floral or moody foliage dress out of a cotton sateen from moodfabrics.com. Something you'll notice in my sewing is I often use very simple silhouettes, easy to make things, but try and use a more fabulous fabric, which is what I think is going on here. This is just my kimono sleeved bodice with a very high V-neck and my simple pencil skirt. But in this nice textile, I think it really shines in a way it wouldn't in something solid, perhaps. I just have this paired with cognac accessories here to start, but I also think it looks great with black accessories, like this new black straw hat. And I will link to this hat in the description because they're just recently available and I had to have one. And then also black shoes, gloves, and belt, of course, for a more chic take on this dress. Depends on where you're going to lunch, you know? Next up, I have another kimono sleeve dress, this one with a full circle skirt. This is actually a Halloween season fabric, a quilting cotton, Halloween quilting cotton from Joann's that I bought on sale while waiting to get something else cut at the cut counter. Waiting in line, I fell in love with this cotton back in the novelty cotton section. And since it was on major sale, I ended up picking up five yards of it to make a full circle skirted 50s dress like this. So here it is paired with black, black gloves, black belt, black brooch, etc. Um, a nice sharp contrast against this fun insect and butterfly and moth and spider print fabric. Sort of a fallish print, but here I've got it paired with ivory instead for a more springtime kind of look. Got my ivory bait sandals on here, an ivory belt that I thrifted, and then straw hat and handbag. Again, both of those were from Etsy. I can link this hat is from the same seller as that black one, so I will link that in the description for you. And it's very easy to find straw clutches like this on Etsy. This next dress also features my all-in-one little kimono sleeve, slight kimono sleeve, but I've uh, taken the darts from the waist and gathered them into the neckline instead here, and then used an A-line skirt on this one for a more 30s look, especially with the celluloid belt buckle and matching little belt here that I decided to do for this dress. This is actually made out of an Ikea duvet cover. That's right, I used the rest of this fabric for making a 1950s dress in the past, but I had some left over and decided to try and make something else, something a little bit more 30s, fresh spring 30s dress here. Here paired with black for a contrast. And then of course with red in the print, how could I not also pair this with my red accessory set? So here it is with the red suede belt, a red straw hat and clutch, and then red heels again from Bait or But Another Innocent Tail, where I get a lot of my shoes from. But I think this is a very fun spring summer look here. I can't wait to wear it out and about, perhaps to the Denver Botanic Gardens, one of my favorite haunts in the flowery season when the things are blooming. Of course, can't be visiting for a while yet, but I shall look forward to when we can. This next dress is in a lovely little floral 
cotton poplin from fabric.com that I've had in my stash for a couple of years and always said to myself, I'll get to that sometime. And I decided that sometime was now. I promise that's not an exposed zipper in the back, by the way. The lap of the, the lap zipper is just folded over and cut under my belt here for these clips, unfortunately. But for this one, I just went ahead and separated the bodice to have a little yoke up at the shoulder and then did a sweetheart neckline, transferred the side dart into gathering at that yoke in the front. So I've shown them how to do this modification before in my green rayon dress video here on the channel. And then of course I did a puff sleeve with that. And here it is with brighter accessories, back to my red accessory set, but with a punch of the yellow glove here. I really like this, the colors in this print, the primary colors on black in this tiny little floral print. And I thought it would look fun with really bright accessories like this. Another great look for summertime since it is approaching quickly here. Hopefully we'll be able to go out and about by then. And then lastly, some of you may have seen this dress already on my Instagram. I took some very dramatic photos wearing this last week, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like styled and on as well. This fabric has got to be my favorite fabric I've ever purchased from Mood, which is saying a lot because as we know, I buy a lot of fabric on there, but I just think the colors and the floral print here are gorgeous. I love this dress. Again, just my simple kimono sleeve with a slight um, sweetheart neckline up here. I've shown how to do that on the channel already as well. And then with an A-line skirt, this time paired with cognac and straw, but of course this also looks nice with black as well. So here it is styled a little bit more formally, perhaps a little darker for late summer or a summer afternoon date. <laughs> Not that I'll be going on any of those, but you know, a girl can dream. So here it is with black, including a black Plastiflex clutch. But again, I just love this textile. I think it's stunning. I don't think the black background of this is available anymore, but they do still have this same print on ivory, if that's something you might be interested in. I will link to it in the description below. So those are the projects I've been working on here in my sewing room, in my lockdown, as it were. Um, keep my hands busy has been helpful for me, um, but I'm actually going to be taking a week off here from sewing and the internet. Uh, well, not the internet completely. Let's be honest, that's not possible for me, but I'm going to try to take some time away from everything to do some writing here in the next week. So actually I'm filming this a week in advance. So goodness knows what the world will look like a week from when I'm filming this, but Here's hoping things are on the up, at least a little by then. Um, I hope you're all safe and well and safe at home. Um, if you can be, if you can't be, if you're an essential worker, thank you so, so much for being so brave and courageous and selfless and helping keeping the world turning even in these wild times. But I hope you all stay safe out there. I hope I've been able to be, been a little bit of a distraction in the wildness with some frivolous fashion content for you all. Um, but stay well and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.